What is up, Pyromaniacs? Prostasis here, and today I'm going to be covering my updated fishing guide for Black Desert Online. Uh, you may have seen my previous fishing guide under the old system, which may actually be accurate for the new, uh, the newly announced Xbox version if it's pre-awakening, but uh, we're not sure yet. Uh, however, this is for the latest version of Black Desert Online and is current as of June 11th, 2017. If they make any more updates to the game and the way fishing works, I'll update it then. Uh, now, this guide is going to try and be as quick as possible but um i may release a much shorter version as this guide will probably be somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 to 12 minutes long and is going to cover more than just do this 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 and this to win um i will probably have a tlr tlr dr version of this if that's your cup of tea all right, so some of the basics that you're going to want to get before you start. Uh, keep in mind, this is an active fishing guide. I will be making a AFK fishing guide soon. Uh, for the active fishing guide, you're going to want to get silver embroidered fisher's clothes. That's going to give you plus one movement speed, plus one fishing level. Um, that just kind of some basic equipment. Um, then you're going to want to get, if you can, triple float fishing rods. Now this requires you to be skill five to use. If you're under skill five, don't worry about it. Get what you can. Um, and then I use steel rods as backup. Uh, obviously, you know, you don't have to use those rods. Use the best rods you can get. Uh, but these are my standard equipment. The triple float fishing rod. What that basically does is it allows you to catch up to three fish when you pull from a node. Uh, the steel rod just pulls one. Uh, obviously, you have uh, the ability to get the striker tokens with either of these. Um, as well as the... Um, the little fish artifact, which uh, I've only gotten a few times, but uh, we might get lucky and get it today while we're out. Um, then you're going to want to get some fishing food. Uh, the Bellinos meal, special Bellinos meal lasts for 110 minutes. Kind of a nice setup. Gives you plus two movement speed, plus two fishing rank um, and gathering speed. And then uh, suit tea or healthy suit tea, depending on which one you want to purchase. Uh, that will give you an increase to your life EXP. So this right here, that uh, plus two fishing speed, uh, plus this one, which gives you plus two fishing speed, plus this gives you plus five. Uh, with this one right here, you don't get that nice bonus, but you get the option of getting more fish. So uh, you will only be rocking plus three unless your guild has the bonuses, which a lot of them do. So uh, you can always find one that has the plus three fishing bonus if that's your cup of tea. Once you've got these things going, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, and my guide assumes that you have a boat of some kind. Uh, you can do this with any of the boats, whether it's the, uh, what do you call it, uh, the raft, the uh, little dinghy, or the fishing boat, which is what I use. Um, you know, like I said, your mileage may vary. Just pick one that works for you. Uh, hang on, let me clear this out real quick before we get going. Because sometimes they give you rewards while you're out. Uh, also, the other key thing that you're going to want is get as much free inventory space as you can possibly get. Um, if you, you know, inventory spaces grow pretty much regardless of your character. So, like, if you roll alts and run them through the quest line, you're going to expand all of your character's inventories, not just your main. So, I strongly recommend you do that if you can. Uh, unfortunately, the servers are lagging absolute balls today, so it's going to make making this video a little bit more difficult, but hopefully not too bad. All right, so once you've got your equipment, you've got your boat, you're going to want to head out to the, to the oceans. Now, like I said, keep in mind, this is an active fishing guide, and what that basically means is if you... Th this is designed for people who want to be at the keyboard and earn the most money that they can possibly earn. Uh, now, I'm not saying this is the best way to make cash in Black Desert Online. There are definitely better ways to to go about it, but this is one of those ways that you can make within your first week on Black Desert Online or, or even sooner, first couple of days. And uh, it's definitely, in my opinion, one of the nicer, less uh, combat intensive ways to make cash uh, that doesn't require an absolute asinine amount of contribution points and doesn't require a whole ton of skills. You can do this as, you know, even a beginner fisher. Obviously, the higher your skills go, the better you're going to do and the the more options that you're going to have, the better the equipment, the better the boosts. But, you know, even as a low-level fisher, you're going to make somewhere in the neighborhood of, you know, a million or two an hour, uh, depending on your luck. Now, I'm taking off here from Belia out into the ocean. This is one of the parts of this that is a little intensive, is your area of fishing. Now, you can fish 
anywhere in the ocean that you want, but you want to make sure that you're fishing near an area that you have a node connected to. Now, uh, you do this by uh, doing quests, which give you contribution points, and then investing these contribution points into these nodes. Now, you can see these nodes are connected with little lines. Um, this one I don't think is connected. Uh, you can come down here, you can click Contribution Invest, which will give you that connection, and if that's something that you want to do, uh, you, you can invest there. Um, and it's pretty simple. You just click that uh, if you're a member and you can do it remotely. If you're not a member, you actually have to go to this island and, and do it manually, which kind of sucks. Now, you still have to discover the island and discover the note, so to speak. But you don't actually have to go there nicely, as I just showed you, if you remember one of the perks for being, uh, for paying that monthly fee, so to speak, to get that. Um, all right. So what we're going to do is, and what I usually like to do is, is come way out here on the left side and then come way up here to the to the east side and then kind of come back down and then change servers now this this does take a while this does take a while now we're gonna go ahead and turn on auto uh, autopilot by pressing t to, to navigate us out there doing the autopilot with the boats is definitely not the fastest way to move um but it allows you to play other games on the side watch netflix or in my case just talk about what we're doing and gives you guys you know the general what how of what we're doing all right so we're gonna go ahead and blow our our uh balano special now the reason we're blowing the balano special right now is it gives the 30 minute countdown to start so right now we've got all of these bonuses movement speed fishing speed and gathering speed which is nice uh, but we can't go ahead and blow this for the exp bonus yet because there's the cooldown for the t's and the, the different buffs so we uh we got to wait 30 minutes for that to kick in and it's going to take you a little while to find Gonna take you a little while to find these different nodes out here now what we're looking for is some seagulls and some fish jumping um during the nighttime it is very hard to find these but during daytime it's a lot easier uh, it's also a lot easier to kind of do it while uh, you're auto fit or auto pathing so you can you know easily turn your camera around without having the boat change directions uh, you can see these fairly far out so you kind of just skim the horizon which is what we're doing right now and you just wait till you see them pop up now this is based or the the radius of, that it pops up is based on your skill so like right now our skill or my skill is skilled 10 uh, that's not insanely high, but it's decently high. It's it's fairly invested, and it means I've got a decent radius uh, and a decent discovery rate. As my skill goes up, I'll see more and more stuff. With a low skill, it may take you a little while to find some of these, and that's going to be the, the killer part for your... Uh, for your, for your hourly, basically. Now, one of the nice things is, supposedly, and I have not verified this myself yet because uh, my brother hasn't been able to get out here with me yet, but if I've heard that if you have a buddy who is really high in fishing, you can have him come out here and do the scouting for you, basically, and he'll tell you where to fish, and you can get the benefit even though you can't see the notes. Now, if you remember my old guide, basically, you would come out to one of these fixed positions uh, back in the day it was it was out in this area there was one over here i think there was one out in this area and those nodes you could all fish and the problem with those nodes was they were the same for everybody and they didn't change but like once every major patch now see right here see these little these little birds flapping that's where we're going to be heading now because that's a node we're going to head in that general direction anyways Back in the day, the nodes were fixed and everybody could fish them, but the problem was they didn't move. And so everybody would find them. Once they were found, they would report them to their guild and their website, which would then disseminate. And then before you knew it, everybody and their dog knew where those spots were, and then everybody would go and hunt them. And eventually you ended up where it was like right outside of Valia, where there's 10,000 people fishing on that spot, and you couldn't do a damned thing. So with this, you don't have that problem. Uh, these nodes are randomized, they change, they last 15, 20 minutes, uh, sometimes as long as 30 minutes, uh, and then they move on. And unless you're actively on and moving around, you're not going to find them. And so it keeps a bunch of other people from coming and harvesting your node. Now, I usually start my timer, my hourly timer, once I've set up on one of these nodes. Uh, you can set it up whenever you want. Uh, I will say it's probably going to take you, depending on your skill, anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half to fill about 70 slots, 60 slots, depending on you know, the equipment you use, your skill, the buffs you use, etc., etc. 
Now there's a couple different types of these nodes here. Now we're gonna pull up along here. I can't tell yet if this is, okay, this one looks like it's a kale node. All right, stop it here, hop off. Now you can tell the fish are different. Here we go. If you know what the fish look like, you can kind of tell. Now these tails look like the kale node. So we're gonna use our triple float one, pull this up. And we're going to go ahead and invest energy in this to give us the extra bonus. Now, this energy meter, you hold space bar, you get that. You can see it's filling up on the top left. That gives you a greater chance, so to speak, of getting some good fish. Now, you'll notice the node disappeared the second I fished it. These are the creme de la creme nodes right here. Uh, you are pulling out fish that are worth, uh, I think it's 200 and you see the 200,000 or 300,000. It's been a couple days since I've uh, pulled one of these. These nodes are only good for one tink, which is why you want the uh, triple float rods, because it gives you that chance to pull up to three when you yank out. Now, you may only get one. You could get two or you could get three. Assuming, of course, you know, you don't screw up the mini game. Um, and these disappear immediately. So now that it's the, now that the little fish are gone, I could pull again from this node and there won't be any more kale here. Or I don't know how to pronounce this fish. I call him kale. Uh, one of you is going to correct me in the comments below and I'm probably making your eye twitch every time I call it that. Now, usually while you're fishing here, I recommend scanning the horizon again and looking for more nodes. Uh, a lot of times you'll get lucky and you'll be able to find several of them clustered within eyesight together. And you can just pull all of them that way. And you can basically just keep rocking and rolling the whole way through. All right, so we got lucky. We got two cola cants, or however you want to say them. Um, on our first pull, each of these are worth 200 grand. And that's a nice little 400k right there in our inventory bam done and you can see we're lagging balls so it's going to take it a minute to come through we're gonna have to wait for that there it goes i want to make sure they actually made it into my inventory they did all right so this node is now basically for all intents and purposes gone so we're just going to keep driving around here it is 7 10 p.m and we're going to see how long it takes me to find these nodes now like i said it takes a while sometimes for you to find them um, and that's that's really going to be where your hourly is going to kick in. Uh, a lot of people, that's a strong argument for AFK fishing is that, well, you know, at least I don't have to do it. At least I don't have to fly around on the, you know, the waters trying to find these stupid nodes and, and hoping to get lucky. And there's, there's, a, there's a good case there. Uh, the problem is, you know, AFK fishing takes forever. You know, it might take you, you know, three or four hours to fill your inventory. And yes... You're guaranteed to fill it. You're guaranteed to get some of the, the boss scroll parts, which you can sell for 700k a piece, and that's going to be nice. And you are going to get a few yellow fish, which you can sell, and you can still get the 5 million token out of the water as well. But it's going to be slower than doing this manually. So, and as your skill rises, you're going to be able to find those nodes easier, and it's going to pay off in the long run. Keep in mind, you can also change servers. So if you're out here roaming around, like I am on Olivia 9, and you're not finding any, you can change servers. You know, turn your Netflix on, turn your autopilot on, let it roam around, scan the uh, the horizon every so often and see what you can find. All right, so it's 7.10 or seven ten is when we started. We're going to see what we can find by roaming around, and uh, we'll see how long it takes us to fill up, and I'll uh, show you guys the other half of this, uh, this guide. Now, this is our second node that I've discovered. You can tell uh, the fish here are different colors. They're different icons. Uh, I'm not sure. I think these are the grunts or the gants. I forget which ones. Uh, you will learn to recognize which ones are which over time. And it may take you a while if you're like me. Uh, these nodes last longer than one tick 90% of the time. You can see we threw our rod here. We're actually fishing now. And the node's still here. Sometimes you can pull, you know, 20, 30 fish out of these. Sometimes you're only going to get to pull two or three fish. Uh, as long as the animation is still here, you can fish. Uh for as long as you want and keep in mind you want to maximize your fishing speed right here try and get that to five so that you can pull out of these faster and you know if you want if you're baller status you can use these triple flow fishing rods uh, to fish these and you have the chance of pulling two or three fish out at a time just keep in mind it's not a guarantee every time all right, so uh, it took me another, we're at 7.15 now, 7.14. So it took an ex, like two or three minutes to find another node. Not terribly long for me, but your mileage may vary. All right, let's see how we end up. 
One of the other things I wanted to point out here is uh, you'll notice in the bottom right here it says Affiliated Node Marka Island. Uh, these nodes are going to be linking up with one of these other nodes right here. Now you can see Marka Island's right here, thankfully. But sometimes these nodes don't always line up with where you're at. So for instance, I've pulled fish here, which counts off the Olivia Coast, which is way down here. You might be really close to a node and it may not show up. If you're curious if the fish you are, you've got is connected, Easiest way to check is hold your cursor over right here and you'll see Origin, Luviano Island, Node Connected, and then it'll say yes, or it'll say no. Always scan your fish before you go and trade. It'll uh, make your life a lot easier. Now you'll notice right here that we've got a node that we are pulling off of. You'll notice off in the distance to the left over there, there is another node just right over there. These nodes sometimes cluster up in threes and fours, and you can just chain farm them. The problem you run into is sometimes it's hard to fish them all out before you can get to the next node. Uh, we're at 725 right now and climbing still doing pretty good. One other little tip I want to give you guys is um, how to auto run with your boat. Um, stopping right now, completely stopped. You can you know, easily swivel around. But if you make a path like this, that's awfully crooked. And sometimes it goes absolutely crazy. But sometimes you just want to go like this way or this way. And you don't necessarily want to set a path there. Uh, way to do it is make sure you've cleared your path and just press T. T is in time. Then you press control and you can kind of look around a little bit. Um, or you can alt tab if you just press control and you can go off to your other monitor and do whatever you want. But uh, it does make it a little bit harder to kind of look around because you don't have a fixed path and you're just going in the direction that you're looking. But it does make it a little bit easier to do a straight path to get home or get out somewhere quicker without having to worry about all the zigzags and possibly getting caught up on anything else. Plus, keep in mind, if you're autopathing, other people can autopath. And like at the beginning of this guide, I slammed into another dude autopathing. That can kind of be a pain in the ass. So this is a little bit better method to kind of plug around. All right, it is now 826. So that took us about an hour and 16 minutes give or take to fill the inventory up. Uh, we are now 100% full. Uh, I didn't get lucky and didn't get the golden, I think it's called a, a golden colocant. Uh, it's worth 5 million. I've gotten one pretty much like every other time I've gone out. They're rare drops. I don't know if they're event oriented or just luck, uh, I seem to get one every time I AFK fish, and about every other time I come out here and do this. So we're heading back. Uh, you can see we were, basically my trek over the last hour and 15 minutes, we went from here out to here, I went up to here, down to here, and then back over here. Uh, when I, let's see, it was out here, out here, out here I changed channels, then I came back down, over, and then back. So, um... I had really good luck initially. I found about four or five right next to each other, and then they dried up, and I had to go all the way over here before I found another. Found two over here, one here, and then one back here. So, like I said, RNG does play a lot into this on whether or not you're going to, you know, get it quickly or if it's going to take a while. Um, you know, it depends whether you find colocants or whether you're finding actual normal nodes. And then, you know, like I said, depending on your skills, you can find them all back to back and it really helps out. Uh, one of the other things they want to point out is with your boat, you can gear these guys up with uh, different uh, equipments here. You know, get the fishing boat prow, fishing boat cargo container, decoration, and then of course the totems. All of that stuff with the exception of the totem can be bought uh, on the marketplace and you can get the totem from, I think it's Curio, right there. Let me show you. Do, do, do. I believe Curio sells them. Yeah, Creo, Creo. Uh, buy them from right here and you're good to go. Now, we're gonna head back in. It's gonna probably take us another, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. Whoa. There we go. Five, 10 minutes to get back to the dock. Once we get back there, <coughs> I'm gonna show you guys uh, the two places you want to offload and a quest that you're going to definitely uh, do as many times as you can do it. So stick with me. We'll be right back. All right. It's 833. So that is one hour. Why can't I move? One hour and 20 minutes from the time we found our first 
little spot to our launch for an hour, about an hour and a half since we left the base here. All right, so we're back here in Valia, and we've got one spot clear. Uh, for whatever reason, one spot usually isn't enough to initiate trades. So I usually come over here to the warehouse and dump all of our striker seals. Uh, you can turn those into uh, different black stones, depending on how many you've got. I use the same, save them up for weapons, but you can get them for armors as well. Uh, if you right-click on them, it'll show you where you can turn them in. You turn them in at the skill trader right up there. All right, so this guy right here is who you want to talk to first. Now, you can see right now we have 30,000. I'm going to go ahead and deposit this money real quick just for the sake of ease on the math. Somebody will accuse me of misrepresenting if I don't, so I'm going to go ahead and throw it in here. We are at a zero balance now. Let's see. Now, this guy right here is also sort of RNG. He's the Imperial Trader, so to speak. Boy, you uh, you click this button right here, and you you're going to see all the different too. prices here. Now, you can see he only has so many remaining. That means if you have more than that, he's not going to be able to buy them. So let's go ahead and click sell all. We're at zero. Keep in mind you can't bargain with this guy, so don't keep that in mind. Uh, we went ahead and sold everything that we could to him. And usually, that's not everything. Uh, he'll only buy certain stuff. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave our money on us right here just so we can tell how much we've got. Um... We got these little fishing seals from trading with him. Uh, you can use these to buy other things as well. You can see the list right there. And if you right click, it'll give you the exchange locations. One other thing I do want to point out is Ab Ellen right here. This little guy is who you do the quest to get the triple float fishing rods from. Uh, the specific quest that you want is right here, Fish for Villagers. Uh, and he will send you three of these rods. I think you can do these every three days. So. If you're fishing actively, you want to save your triple floats for uh, the colocants. If you're not, you know, if you only do this every couple of days, then I would use the triple floats just to speed up the fishing process. Uh, but it, it depends on you, your fishing style, etc., etc. All right, once you're done with that, you want to come back over here to Bahar. I'm a uh, trade with him. Do this guy last, because he'll take everything you've got. You want to click on bargain. Uh, you want to accept this. This is a little mini game. You get more choices or chances based on uh, your trading skill. As far as I can tell, there is absolutely no method to this. Uh, that may have changed. Last time I played, you just hit it and hope for the best. All right, so we're going to sell the last little bit that we've got. If we wanted to make more distance bonus wise, we could go to Heidel or we could go even further than that. Um, the issue is that takes time. Uh, that's time, you know, you're going to walk over there and the difference, you know, you can, I think you can get a substantial bonus, but I think you're better off just getting your ass back out there and fishing. All right, so let's go ahead and click this real quick. Let's do sell all. And that puts us at 3.7 million for about an hour and 10, hour and 20 minutes. Um, you get trade EXP for doing this. You get fishing EXP for doing this. And uh, if you want to be really uh, anal about it, you technically get some EXP for walking overloaded if you want to be really weird about it uh, but uh, that's that's really the gist of my fishing guide uh, i've shown you the equipment that you need to use i've shown you uh, the poles that i use uh, how i go about doing it and and like i said it, it really is easy you just go out there and swim around in your nodes until you find the seagulls you fish them out uh, use the triple floats if you can uh, for uh, the colocants and if you want to speed your process up and you're not fishing, you know, five or six times a day. Because if you use your triple floats for normals and you're out there, you know, like let's say you do this three times a day, you're going to burn through your triple floats just on colocants doing that. So, you know, I wouldn't do that. Uh, but, you know, if you only do this once a day or maybe twice a day, you can use your triple floats as your normal rod. So there are a bunch of other quests that you can do to get triple floats. Uh, this one's just the easiest one that I currently use, but there are others. If you Google triple floats, you'll find all the quests up there. If you guys have interest, I can show you all those quests, um, how to do them and the prereqs, et cetera, et cetera, in another video. Um, in the next couple days, I will be posting a video that will show you guys also how to uh, pull up the, or how to properly do AFK fishing, if there's interest in that. Uh, I'll try and get that up as quick as possible, but it may take me another couple days, maybe even as much as a week. So, 
But anyways, guys, um, like I said, we pulled almost four million an hour doing it this time. Uh, if we were to have gotten more cola cans, that would have gone up. If we had gotten the golden cola can, that would have given us five million. Um, I didn't count the striker seals. Uh, striker seals can net you, uh, if you get the stones, an extra two to four hundred k each, depending on the market values and all of that. So uh, you can easily make anywhere from, I would say, three on the low end to you know, eight to ten on the high end, depending on your luck, your inventory size, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Let me know what you guys think about this guy. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Please leave me all your criticisms in the comment section below. As always, if you like this video, please slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.